What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? y'all what's good what's good we tuning in for another video man today hey we we messing with rb well we ain't messing with it we finna wash her up for one we finna give her a bath man much needed bath because uh she, i ain't watched the car in a long time and while i'm doing that but the whole purpose of this video man y'all can see by the title they all uh, talk to y'all about backspacing g body backspacing and uh how the the rims affect the gear ratio and I'm gonna reintroduce everybody to R&B because people probably forgot what rear end gear in the hood and all that because I be getting a lot of questions on all that stuff and all that, all that good stuff, man. And, you know, I originally geared this car four rims, four bigger wheels. So, uh, that's, that's why I chose the gear. Uh, this car was not the most pleasant to drive on the highway, even though it don't have a huge gear in it. It, just, it was on 14, so, you know, you have to measure you have to measure wheel diameter and all of that good stuff to see what your final running ratio is and stuff. Most of the time, all this stuff is calculation, man, formulas, even with engines and all that. And, man, I'm finna get on the way. I'm finna get on the way with R&B, new engine, man. This ain't gonna take long. I already got the combo put together. Uh, and I'm finna move on it, man. I got the combo put together on a hunt. Hunt it down everything I need to hunt down. I, I hate, I hate I gotta buy everything individually. But if, if you wanna come out fast, that's what you gotta do right now. It's higher, it's higher building the internet way, buying the parts individually. But hey, you ain't trying to wait, that's what you gotta do. And I'm not patient, man. I ain't gonna count. I am not patient. I be, I be wanting to make stuff happen. I gotta spend extra, make it happen, that's what I do. So, you know. And if you're in the BCG hangout, you will be, uh, you will be seeing what my combination is. I'll be showing y'all that. Uh, and like I said, y'all, I just, I don't give out my combinations like that. Cause I mean, they're part of my business. They're what I do. I do bill seats. So, and they're just a perk of the BC, BCG hangout. Like whatever my personal combos is for my cars, they get, they get. So, but yeah, the engine, engine combo gonna be on point, man. It's definitely gonna make the 400 horsepower to the wheels, which is so. It definitely gonna do that with no issues. What I spec out. Real good street manners. Uh, low end torque, all that. And look, I've been out here working, man. I got finished working out. Done clean the garage up, man. Everything. I need this spot. I got to have this spot. Oh, hold on. Bring y'all up. Got to have this spot. So I cleaned the garage all up, man. Got the tires all stacked up like they supposed to. Tires removed. Uh, I need that. Ah, I'm just not thinking about it, man. I done, I done uh, stacked them tires on there, and I need them hard tires for Dolo. I need to put those tires on Dolo so I can go get alignment done. Take the wheels off for a couple of days, go get the alignment done, and I put them back on. But anywho... And I got to show y'all my new piece. Y'all getting a lot in this vlog. I got to show y'all my new piece, man. I just caught, I just caught me a new piece, man. New firearm. Uh, I wasn't playing. I was going to go buy some ammo. Then I looked, man. They had one, one of them on the wall. I wanted. I said, I got to have it. I got to have it, man. I wanted, so I went ahead and bought it. But uh, <laughs> funny, I told I, I had made a joke to wife. I told you I wanted to buy some ammo. I said, man, they mess around and had it. Uh, that that the one I want. Don't don't be surprised. Come back one. She already know me though. I just impulse buy. But uh, I'm finna wash this thing up. I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. I'm gonna move on. Um, 
I will gonna move Dolo. I ain't gonna move Dolo. Cause I got the car cover on. Y'all know the awesome car cover, man. Hey, ain't no water touching on the car. It's gonna be all good. So I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. About right here. Get to it. So y'all stay tuned. So, we got her all clean. She glistening and shining, man. Funny thing about this car, though, and this color, one thing I love, even when it's dirty, man, it don't look bad. Like, far away, it don't look bad. It just, it just dirt just don't show up on this blue right here, man. It's a beautiful color. Uh, and it's crazy. I ain't even crazy about blues like that, but uh, I like this one, man. It's a beautiful color right here. To go to show, too, you ain't got to have candy on everything to make a car look good. <laughs> I don't be trying to fall in line with everybody else. Everybody do candy, wraps, all that. Nah, they like brown coat, man. Brown coat ain't candy. Some people thought it was, but it ain't candy, man. That thing there is, is right. So, they get into the backspace, man. They get into the G-body backspace. So, I'm gonna tell y'all the easy way to determine backspace. And like, if somebody asks you what's the backspace on your wheel, let me show you what you do. So, and I, I already, I done done this a thousand times with wheels, so I know. But what you do, instead of taking the wheel off, if you know the whole, the total width of your rim, meaning if you got an 8 inch wheel, 10 inch, 12 inch, 7 and a half, 8 and a half, if you know the width of your rim, you can find the backspace without taking it off. All you need to know is the width. So, I know this back wheel is a 10 inch wheel. It's a 10 in the back. I got nines in the front. So what you do, I'm going to use my tape measure, man. I love my daughter, man, Michelle. She had got me this for Christmas. It's a, uh, it's a smartest dad ever. She always make me use it. She ain't even here to see me use it. I be using it. No okay. Uh, What you do, come right here. Man, I hate it. Man. Uh, let me bring y'all up. But you come right here. And you measure like that right there. That's all you gotta do. Go to go to where the hook, where the wheel bolt up to the hook or the drum or whatever. And then you measure. And you can see this is a four inch lip. This is a four inch lip. Right there. Four inch lip. Or you can come right here if you want to be more accurate. But four inch lip. So that's a four inch lip. You know that's a ten inch wheel. So if if it's four on the outside is six on the inside so the back spacing on this wheel is six inches you got six inch back spacing four inch lip so all you do is subtract whatever you get right here whatever your measurement is on the lip you subtract it from the total width of the rim which like i said this is a 10 inch wheel four inch lip you subtract uh four from ten you got six that's your back space on the back wheel six inch back space but i mean you can get them you can get tens you can get tens on cars with minimal trimming and notching and stuff i mean uh you don't have to take it much out it's just getting the right back space and stuff or getting the right wheels for your car that's why you need no back space uh but now this one i ain't checked so show y'all the back space same thing it's a nine inch wheel so what we do we come right here. It's probably three. Yep, three inch. So this is a three inch lip. So three, you take three from nine. You take three from nine, that leaves you six. So it's six all the way around. Six inch uh, backspacing on the front. Six inch backspacing on the rear too. So that's the backspacing of these wheels for people wanting to know. Uh, and now let me talk about the uh the the running gear ratio so i put 
like I said, I'm gonna reintroduce y'all to the car. People that don't know. I'm gonna do that in another video, but I'll tell y'all the uh, car. I'm finna change some stuff up, so I'm gonna have to reintroduce the car. But um the rear end, y'all know when I first got this car, that was like on my on my to-do list top priority. So when I first bought it, it was a one wheel, uh just open carry, one wheel peel. So uh hustle hard, went down to hustle hard performance. Shout out to my fan Frank. And uh so I got one of them hustle hard performance 75 specials in it. <laughs> but uh it got 342 ring and pinion, uh, which is there's even a 342 kind of high on a 14 inch wheel. Uh, my 14s in there, I think I meant to measure them. I just put them up. Let me see. Let me eyeball this. I think they, uh, mm, I think they like 20, 20 inches or 21 inches all together height like wheel and tie which is still pretty short like i said 15 so on the interstate on the interstate r&b would be turning like it'd be running at 30 3500 rpm man running 60 mile per hour 3400 somewhere up in there which is i hate it driving on i hate driving the car on the highway at, at first but it could do it you know it could do it i draw i did it uh still dependable but it's just burning a lot of gas it burned the intake the intake, aka the supercharger, already make it consume a lot of gas, but it just burns even more gas. So that's that's one reason they call burn so much gas. I know y'all hear me talking about it. The taller your intake, the farther the fuel has to travel down. So it uses more, it's gonna burn more gas. Straight up. So let's measure this. Now this got a 30 series tire. You can get the 23, the 23 series, which are super rubber bands. I don't I don't really like them. I ain't a fan of them. I want some tire on my car. I always ran 30 series on 24. Uh, those 26 on Dolo, my first 25 series tire. But you got 25s that's kind of decent. But them, them 23 series, man, they, man, I seen them in person. CJ showed them to I'm like, man, no. I do not want this. They say you, they say you from uh, having to do a lot of work and stuff, but. Man, I need I need something, man. I need some kind of some kind of uh, meat on the tie. So this right here, roughly mm, 29, it's 29 inches. So this 29 inches tall right here, and the running, I ain't got the form in front of me. I did a video on this with the 28s, man, on my JMAC 2004 ride channel. If you want to see the formula, but it's a formula for this. So you can take the diameter of the tie, which the total diameter is uh 29 inches. So you talking, you talking roughly like an eight inch difference, and between that eight inch difference, making the tie taller, now the car picked up like 10 more mile per hour at the same RPM. So now the car runs 70, 71 at 3400 RPM. Somewhere up in there, it runs 65 at 32 versus man even. Even at 65, it was running like 63.50, sometimes tiptoeing 64. No, no, I said that wrong. At 65, that thing running like 35.50 or something like that. So you look at how many RPM it brought it down, man. Now I run 65 at like 32. And it's because I like three-speed transmissions. Uh, they just they just better power-wise. I mean, gearing, I like T8400, <clears throat> T8400, my all-time favorite transmission all the way around out of all of them. Out of the 4L80. 4L80, the strongest uh, overdrive transmission, but then you got the Power Glide, Power Glide of Beast, people use in racing, and the 400 too. 400 just heavy, so you want to consider the weight of your car and all of that. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't put no 400 in R&B because for one, I knew I wasn't going to make that type of power. Well, I needed a 400, and that's a heavy transmission in this this weight car. So I went with a 350. Got a Showtime uh, transmission in it, 350. Y'all know I changed that out. New transmission in it. Uh, I'm going to reintroduce it, though, because I ain't never told y'all I got into the converter and all that stuff. And just, just know. Just know, man, it's coming. It's coming. Just know the remix coming, and this car going to be all me then at this point. Y'all know I bought it with this engine in it. I remixed the top end, 
chain the heads and stuff on it uh rocker arms and all that stuff so and i put the rear end in it floor shift through i did all that stuff so uh after i chain the engine it's gonna be all me and i know how to chain the suspension totally the brakes about to be changed so just stay tuned man we finna do this quick it's gonna be one of them uh dolo one of them dolo moves man like gonna happen real real fast like real quick man uh i'm finna skin down Cause you got the car show the car show i'm gonna tell y'all my goal the car show in uh in my hometown coming up the real big one if you looked at that vlog you know i went me and wife went kids man it's a huge car show big car show downtown like huge it just got bigger and bigger and it's in march so at that car show there has never been a big wheel car in that car show never I ain't never been a box civic no cutlet none of that i don't think i don't remember but i'm gonna be the first i'm gonna be the first man and i'm trying to have the whole fleet out there the whole fleet Sell meats i'm gonna be pushing the clothes on meats man y'all I, I see y'all <clears throat> keep asking about meats oh yeah i gotta show y'all my piece too i gotta show y'all my new pickup man my new gun pickup but uh y'all keep asking about meats man meats meats coming i'm just not talking about it meats is coming uh but uh, people y'all don't understand what type of what type of time meat's gonna be on man y'all seen i mean y'all seen me do dolo and stuff i just did dolo at my own pace just because i mean i want to stretch out make content i don't want to do everything fast like r&b gonna be done quick but meats is a, another type of car man like you you talking about starting from scratch man like that whole entire car got to be built built i got the fuel system y'all know i've been had the fuel system in there the fuel system has to be done new line got to be plumbed or fuel fuel cell got to be put in man shocks got to be changed ring gonna have to be changed man gonna have to be braced it just it is it's it's not it's not one of them it's not one of them them cars that just be in and out i mean i can i can pay for it and just cash out but even then it's still i gotta wait on people man i gotta wait on the engine called the parts i'm not putting i'm not putting just anything in that car and parts man parts crazy the parts i need they want them time like i have no choice but to wait so meat's coming when it come it come man it's all it's out of my power i mean you know i, I got the money to go ahead and do it and i'm spending it but i still can't you know some stuff out of my power that's all i can say some stuff out of my power so i hope and i ain't saying i ain't even pushing the hell that one there at the car show car i want it done right that's my baby man me to my baby i want it done right i gotta take the hood off and get a grill all type of other little stuff too and it got to be done right like this car dolo a mean piece too now don't get me wrong dolo is a mean unit it's a mean car but it, it's not it's not what what meets is going to be but at that car show i'm telling you i'm gonna have all these brown coat ready brown coat clean John Jones really not it, John Jones really not messed up. I mean the paint it'll go. It can pass. I need to get that seat done though. So I'm trying to get that one. I'm gonna get that one seat done before March. Get it recovered. Dolo gonna be painted. Dolo gonna look totally different. Dolo gonna be painted, man. I'm trying to. I want to try to get the interior done too, but I might be pushing it. But this one right here, this one will be completely done too. I ain't doing no interior clean. Uh. But it will have the new engine in it by then. It has a new engine in it, and uh, I got to put the longer studs in it. So this car will be done completely, 100%. It'll have a new engine. Uh, the brakes will be on, the new brake system. And I have the longer studs, too. Since I'm going to have another engine making more power, I will have the longer studs in the back. And I have that little beauty spot fixed. j Hog going to get me in and out on that. So, But that's that now let me show y'all the new piece man so let's go check all right here we go here we go unboxing man unboxing time i said i said it. i already seen it anyway but i said i'm gonna do unboxing with y'all and let me tell y'all remember um i kept telling you dolo could have a little cranking problem i knew that battery was bad man i had went and uh changed the battery i got a new battery for it the other day i just forgot to tell y'all so i'm trying to keep y'all up to date on everything so dolo battery 
was bad. It was pretty quick though. But we got a Sentry Arms uh, box. Y'all know I love rifles. Uh, got Sentry Arm box and boom! Check it out, man. This thing here is pretty, man. I love it. I love the wood stock, man. I love the wood stock. So it come with uh and this I would not be using this. Man, this magazine, I be I do my research on stuff before I get it. Uh and this magazine here is some junk. This some junk, man. I'm not uh I would not be using that magazine. I took it out. I don't like the way the spring feel. Glock. Glock brand magazine. If you're using extended, extended magazine for real, Glock only. This is not a Glock magazine. It just says it's compatible with Glock. So that's another reason I want to buy it. I want to buy this and uh, cause Glock man, that's 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 my handgun man. Like Glock is, they ain't gonna fail you man. I love Glock. And I already had two. I got two 16 round magazines, Glock magazines. Then I got two 30 rounders already. So. I got a spare 30 round. I'm going to be using that with this. So it's going to stay with the Draco. And uh, I'm going to tell y'all something funny. I went to the store to buy some ammo, man. I went to buy some ammo because, you know, they be limited how much you can get. Which I'm going to just start ordering mine online, man, for like three, four $400 and just buy the whole case. Like a three, four hundred dollars uh, case of ammo. So I went to go buy some ammo. I'm talking, man. I looked up on the wall. I said, man, stop playing. Dracos, at least around this area, man, they, they hard to come by. Like, everybody want the Dracos. Um, and I just, I don't think it's the most accurate uh, pistol, but I meant to call it. I called it a rifle early. Really, the pistol, y'all. But I don't think it's the most accurate pistol semi, but it's just a piece to have in the collection, man. I mean, it's just fun, man. I, I, I fired one before. It's fun, so. I saw it on the wall. I was like, man, this the NAC 9. This the NAC 9 uh, Draco. So I was like, man, the 9mm Draco? Got to have it. So I ain't even go. I, I didn't go to pick this up. I was going to buy ammo. But when I saw it, I had to I had to go ahead. I had to get it, man. And I had made a joke with wife. I said, what if they had the, uh, if they had one coming back with it? Just being funny, but see, they had one. So here it is. Let me see. I put this magazine in it. So y'all let, let y'all see. It's empty. I see empty. Uh and it works just like most AKs. You got the safety right there. All of that. Only thing I don't like about these, I will say this, cause I got a century uh AK, which y'all y'all should have saw if you saw my other video. Only thing I don't like about these is that dust cover. Man, I took that. I took it, took it out of my um, AK the other day, you know, trying to trying to break it down, see, learn to put it back together and stuff. Which is pretty simple, taking the bolt out and all that. But man, I said, boy, I do not like that dust cover. I like the dust covers that you can just flip up and all of that. And man, I was in there. I was in the store, boy. Uh, or uh, one of the employees, man, we got to talking. I was in there talking to him for a long time, man. I got a, he got a piece, boy. I said I got to have one. I got to have one. So let me see. Let me sit y'all down. Sit y'all down right here. So y'all how, how it look? Like I said, man, it's, y'all see? Empty. I don't like the magazine, but. That's how it look. Put y'all back on the uh back on the gorilla part now. So this how it look, man. I love that classic wood. I love I love the classic wood finish, man. I actually want me a tummy gun too, like a, a real tummy gun. Just to have in the collect the collection or whatever. But this how it look right here. I said man, you that thing nice. Thing nice. I'm gonna put me a brace on it too, a fold out brace. Only thing about these century, uh, these century um firearms to get the brace on this, like it goes in the it goes in the grip, it bolt in the grip with the bolt at it bolts down in the grip. So I don't know how I don't know how dependable it'll be or how long it'll last, but I'm putting the brace on it. This 
This right here, I'm going to trick this one out. I'm going to trick this Draco out since it's a 9mm. Uh, but, man, I was at the store. They, they said they can get a 7.62 Draco, which is like the baby AK, the micro Draco. Not the micro, the mini. I'm sorry. They got the mini and the micro. I don't. I actually don't want a micro. But uh, they said they can get a mini Draco. So I will be getting that. So don't be surprised if within the next week sometime or something, Y'all be seeing another one, man, because they get that they get that mini Draco. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. And then they had that uh they had that 500 on the wall, man. That old John Wayne 500, boy. I said, God, I got to have one of those. I want one of those. That's the y'all know wifey like them revolver, man. That's the only revolver I want. That's the only one I want, man. I want a 500. Uh and I just want to see how it hit. I never shot one. So I want a 500 man. Shoot one of this. Shoot one of them 7, 700 grain. Uh, shoot some of that 700 grain ammo through there and see how that thing hit. Cause that's a big boy. It's a big boy right there. So I'm, I'm gonna get one of them too. I seen them online, man. They like 1300 or something. I got to have one. I got to have one, man. So, man, I, I got the collection, man, growing. So y'all gonna be seeing more of this, man. Cause I love, I love rifles. Like I'm on. I love rifles. I seen so much stuff in there yesterday. I wanted to buy another one, which you can buy two. But I think after you buy two, if you're trying to buy more than two, man, you have to do some other stuff. Uh, so when at most, at most, I just buy two at a time, whatever. I usually just buy two at a time and stuff. No more than that. But y'all will be seeing more. Uh, I'm finna get me a cabinet too. See my collection growing. I'm finna get me a cabinet. Uh, I'm, I'm working on my rifles right now, getting the rifles and stuff. Then I start, it's a few handguns I want, cause I want every caliber handgun. Like I, um, I got a 380, so I want a 22, 38. Uh, what else we got? 40 cal, 45. Then you got the 50 cal, and you got the 500. Like, I mean, I want every caliber handgun, so. But yeah, man, that's it. That's gonna about do it for this video. I'm about to, I'm probably gonna bust a block in R&B today, man, cause it feels so good. And uh, you know, y'all just stay tuned. Catch y'all later, BCG. We out.